let's be honest. The weather's kind of boring right now, and we're glad it is. It's sunshine, so it gives us more time to talk to Larry and Courtney about Lone Star, our canine companion that CBS News Texas is so thrilled to partner with to be able to follow his journey to becoming a service dog. So let's first of all start with, okay, Lone Star's bigger than we saw last month. Uh, Larry, y'all been working on a lot of skills, so show us a little bit of what Lone Star's been, been learning. Lone Star. Well, he's got an itch right now, too. <laughs> Shake. Oh boy. There we yes. go. Oh boy. So Shake can help with some of his skills. Courtney, what does that help with? Yeah, so a lot of times people see service dogs out in public. They don't know how to interact with them. It's a really easy way for someone to quickly say hi to a dog that might be working um, when in public. Okay, and the other skill we're going to try to do no. is roll over. Roll. Roll. Oh, good boy. Yes. <laughs> Release. And what does that help with, Larry? Well, that we just have him roll halfway over and so that the, the client um, may, so they can inspect their belly, look, you know, check their toes and just make sure everything's all right. And it's it just kind of fun for them. Yeah, guys. for sure. And you get belly rubs out of the deal too. So <laughs> one thing we want to talk about, I mean, Larry, you've, you've shared about how this is not your first dog to help raise, uh, but this is something that a lot of folks are interested in. They want to raise a dog to be able to then hand that dog off to hopefully a, a veteran or someone with special uh, needs that has a disability that, can benefit from a dog like this. So Courtney, what are the opportunities out there for folks that want to be involved in raising a dog? Absolutely, we are always looking for more volunteer puppy raisers in the community and it really can be anybody um, that's willing to take on a puppy and, and raise this dog for somebody else. Um, we have individuals who do it on their own, do it as a family. Um, we also have dogs that are raised in a variety of prison programs and we need volunteers in the community to help support those programs. Maybe if you can't take on a puppy full time, you can just help um, in between when they're in and out of uh, the prison. We also have college programs, so college students. Um, here in DFW, we have a handful of high school students who are raising puppies. Okay. So like I said, it really can be anybody. All right, and I know, Larry, you're a little biased, but we know that we've been dipping into some of uh, Lone Star's puppy classes. How do you really think he's doing? Is he taking the right steps necessary? He absolutely is. He's, he's maintained his curiosity, and uh, he'll, he'll try anything I ask him to do. He really is a good dog. And we also know that there is a live puppy cam on some of those training classes. Courtney, this is really cool because you do kind of get that inside look into how training goes for dogs like this. Yes, so we are streaming Lone Star's puppy classes so you can kind of watch and see what our puppy raisers do firsthand. We also have a live puppy cam with one of our little baby litters, just oh. seven weeks old, um, in, uh, near our headquarters in Santa Rosa, California. And so you can actually tune in over the next few days to watch those puppies before they even go to their puppy raisers. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so we know that Lone Star it has a few more months to go on his journey. What's kind of the next step for him? Well, he, we're going to continue to, to uh, work on the skills, getting more confidence, uh, and, and he's doing really well out in public, and he's very little distraction right now. He wants to go visit Courtney. Yeah, his, Courtney's one of his favorite people. Well, I can imagine. <laughs> I can understand why. And, and we'll be adding, he'll be, uh, in another couple of months, we'll be adding some, some more complex skills. We don't let them uh, jump off things. I haven't had to jump on uh, and do it the, some of the ups, like when you, when, where he would, I don't teach him to do the light switch, but this, mm -hmm. the precursor to doing that. Yeah. Uh, we don't let him do that until they're 10 months old. Okay. Their hips. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Well, Lone Star, you're doing great. And I know I had to ask permission before I had a service <laughs> did, dog. Yes. And I did do that before the break. So again, Larry, Courtney, we appreciate you bringing Lone Star in, getting to see him and hear the update. It's always awesome to check in on yep. our canine companions. We'll be right back.